Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this embossed effect pattern. First set the fill to none and bring the stroke to the front. Press the letter M to activate the rectangle tool and draw a square. With the square selected, go to Object, Path and select Split into Grid. Enable Preview to visualize changes on the artboard in real time. Set Rows and Columns to 4, then click OK. Select the Pen tool, hold Shift, click this anchor point and draw a straight line to this anchor point. Press V to deselect. Next, go to the Shape Builder tool, click, hold and drag to create this shape and this one. Next, select a different color and create this shape and this small one. Select a lighter color shade and create these two shapes. While holding down the Alt key, click, hold and drag to remove these shapes. Next, select everything and set the stroke to none. Make sure to leave these two outer shapes without a stroke or fill. Next, open the swatches window, select everything including the outer shapes and drag them here to create a pattern swatch. We can delete all this. Double click on the new pattern swatch to open the pattern options window. Be sure the tile type is set to grid. Click outside the artboard to exit pattern editing mode. Ensure the pattern is applied to the fill, not the stroke. Swap the fill and the stroke and bring the fill to the front. With the pattern swatch selected, create a shape to apply the pattern to. To adjust the scale of the pattern, press the letter S for the scale tool and then press Enter. Make sure the Transform Objects option is unchecked. We only need to transform the patterns. Now highlight the value in the Uniform field and use the up or down arrow key on your keyboard to adjust the scale to your liking. Click OK. If you wish to change the color, go to Recolor Artwork in the tab bar, select Edit and adjust the sliders. Let's delete everything. Select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. To avoid the pattern being clipped at the edges, click and drag to create the shape. While dragging, hold the spacebar to reposition the shape's starting point. Release the spacebar and drag to finish the rectangle. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.